Okay, so that's our introduction. The end of the movie is our is our intro. We have been taught that objects are objects and things are things. And even when we studied science, the question was, what is the nature of things? These things that we perceive, how small can we get? What are the building blocks? You know, when we get down to the molecular level, then we get down to the atomic level, and we get down to the subatomic level. Uh, basically, we have been taught that that everything that we perceive is objects and that if you get smaller and smaller and smaller you can find smaller components that make up those objects. Uh, whether we're talking about the elements and the compounds of the earth that seem to make up all of matter. And once you start to get into quantum physics, the basic fundamental premises <coughs> of Newtonian physics that we've worked with for for centuries don't apply. Uh, all of the, it's the difference between a wave and a particle. Once you start to get into the realm of particles, you find that even atoms that are talked about in science book as if they're things, atoms and electrons and protons, they seem to be actual things, but they're just potentialities, that basically all an atom is, is a potential. It's not a thing. And when they got into quantum physics, they discovered that matter wasn't really uh, matter, wasn't really material. Uh, they were trying to get it smaller and smaller in terms of the particles, and basically they found that most of an atom is just space. There's really nothing there. They were trying to find out what's the building blocks of matter, and they found just this space. And so they started to come up with these ideas like superposition, where Instead of thinking of something as an object in time and space, it was just a potentiality, so that it, it really dissolves away this whole concept of, of location. And what seems to be location is more like an interpretation or a decision that's been made based on what you believe in your consciousness. So it can seem like this is a room full of people watching a movie, um, on a theater screen, a large theater screen, and so on and so forth, but this, this scenario, this seeming situation is just one potentiality of trillions and trillions and trillions, and it's just been selected by the mind or consciousness. It's kind of like uh, Einstein called it an optical delusion of consciousness, that there's something really there when there is nothing. So it's a selection based on a criteria and that's what seems to give it an existence, uh, just based on, on this selection in consciousness. So, potentially, it's like, this is why I say it's like mind-boggling and mind-blowing, is, is that, that basically, uh, what you think you know about everything is really just uh, a projection from the mind based on, on a belief system, and nothing more. And, there is no universal agreement in this limited way, when you're just perceiving and using just a part of your brain, a tiniest part of your consciousness, to perceive a world, you're, you're just perceiving this tiniest little slice, and you have no clue what the whole is. In fact, the whole is what, what brings the peace of mind, is once you have an experience of the whole, or the quantum field, then you see that everything is completely connected. Everything is unified. But from limited perception and limited consciousness, everything seems fragmented and separate. And this idea of, of superposition, you know, doesn't seem to relate. And none of us were taught superposition in the science uh, books we were growing up with. It was all Newtonian. So, I think what we'll do to get a, a taste and a flavor for, for this whole thing, it, it's going to open up a very interesting discussion for us It'll open up a lot of cans of worms uh, once you start to realize that that you know in this world it seems like we have objects that touch uh, certainly the realm of relationships and human sexuality involves touch but when you get deeper into quantum physics you see that 
that nothing is really touching anything. If you get small enough, you'll realize that there is no touching going on. That's just part of this <coughs> construct that we believe in. And everything we believe in is false. So, it's no wonder that there's no peace and harmony until you release the false thought system, because you're literally perceiving what you believe in, and it's very, very limited. So, Thomas, maybe you can roll us back to uh, the beginning of the movie, and we'll watch a bit of this movie just to kind of get a feel for this. Because once we get into quantum, it's like the old rules, the old laws uh, don't hold anymore. <laughs> 